have to put it out there because the truth is the truth. I am a flat earther. I would sooner leap from the window than see your lips move, the sight of which is the visual cue that feculent blather is about to spew forth. This is no way for a therapist to talk to a patient. My theology on the ge geography of the earth is a mixture between flat earth and hollow earth. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Because the Bible makes it extremely clear hell is inside the earth. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! I don't care whether you have a PhD or not, the Greek and the Hebrew is extremely clear. Ah, uh, stop, stop! I'm worried about damage in my head! It's a little late for that. <laughs> Why does this matter? People say it's not a salvational issue. Actually, that's a lie. It is a salvation issue. Here's why. No, no, no annoying sounds, right? Does this count as annoying? If you don't love the truth about God and his truth, God will send a strong delusion upon you. People are sure to clean up their act when presented with cold, hard facts by rational folks like us. The end is near. Repent thy sins. God said, he created an earth that doesn't move. So you see, it's all part of a divine plan. And how does the baldness fit into that plan? It doesn't spin. It doesn't rotate. It's not being thrust through a universe at certain miles per hour. No. Really? Yeah. No. I don't like that insolent tone. I, I meant nothing by it. Huh? You're going to cry? Well, You're going to cry? So. Oh. Huh? Huh? You're going to cry? You're going to cry? Gonna... Oh. Huh? What are you? God said that the earth is all that there is, and the heavens are above it, and those heavens don't include other planets where there's other alien life. Perhaps you and Larry will join us for consumption of mass quantities this weekend. We will ignite our new flame pit and char some mammal flesh for you. When you don't believe that, what happens is there are pockets in your mind that should be reserved for the truth of God, but because you don't believe God about the geography of the earth, other satanic lies can now enter into your mind and build strongholds that will prevent you from embracing other truths of God. Let me explain something to you. You see, you're not normal. <laughs> you're a great guy. I love you, but you're a pod. There are 242 verses exactly in the Bible that says that it's flat earth. Seriously? How lame was that? You can beat around the bush. You can lean towards pseudoscience. I guess irony can be pretty ironic sometimes. Guys, Genesis chapter 1. The very first definition of the firmament is a hard dome like brass beaten out with a metal hammer. That doesn't sound right. It's right. It's not right. All right, all right. Are we almost done? Operation Fishbowl, anybody? Go, go in the corner. Go eat your lunch in the corner. But what am I going to do with my sriracha? Antarctic Treaty, anybody? Why do you have to be such a wanker? Because I get off on it. It's actually really, really simple. God, the man is insane to think that anyone would be gullible enough to fall for that idiotic nonsense. 